Okay, get this thing going today. Important news, as they say. Everybody's gonna know about it. And people are gonna start, I don't know what they're gonna start doing. At least it's gonna give, uh, put my thing back. At least it's gonna, oh. Baby, we just put this in the sink for me. I don't know why this dirty, my dirty, take that Han spoon is out here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Big news out of uh, the European Union. Um, uh, one of the people I listen to, there's a lot of people, but one of the people I listen to on YouTube is Dr. Um, Mumbi Siraki out of, the, out of Kenya. And uh, I've been following her for a long time, you know. Uh, I just like the way she, she, she presents. One of the things she does, or she's just started to do, because everything that evolves, is that and she has she has she says, well, let's take a break. So he has a, a second, um, a one segment, then it continues, then but there's a break in the middle. You know how people do, okay? And uh, one of the things she did was she started to do is put little inserts in those breaks, right? Then she comes back like that. Okay, and a long time, not a long time ago, but uh, Yvette uh, had played a, a couple of times or one time, no, a couple of times, um, the Fred Hampton clip that's really good on, on YouTube. And I had suggested, well, let me leave that for some, and I said, well, yeah, I said, suggested, but she's not, I don't think it got, I don't know if it got through to her or not. That, you know, she played that more often, once a month or once a, you know, whatever it is. Um, there's another oh and and uh, and, and, and tone talks uh, Tony Moore at the end of his clips he always puts a little a little something which is very good so uh, again I think that Yvette should put uh, the Fred Hampton clip maybe at the end of the end of the show you know when it's just you know at, I mean every so often, once a week or once a month or something like that or clips like that small clips at the end of the show you know that way it doesn't mess mess up the flow of the show. Anyway, uh, so I was listening to her. She has a, a, a posting now on on the web. She has a posting now. When the fact that the EU is giving up or, or dealing with reparations. Now, they got they did that because, of course, it went through um, their little parliamentary thing like that. And then she explains this. I'll put a link. She explains this program. That it also starts uh, uh, somebody in Italy, whatever, this sister in Italy from uh, the Congo, and she's Congo uh, Italian, whatever. You know, you know how amal our amalgamations go. So, of course. But it's interesting because uh, she interviewed that brother in that break, uh, brother... Uh, I think it's uh, Danani. I think it's well, anyway. Uh, and, the, and, the, and the gentleman, he was uh, talking about uh, how they, you know, how to how they do it. And so the first question she asked, like everybody else, said, "Well, how much money?" You know, I don't know why people do that. And uh, he said, "Well, it's not only about money." He says, "There's five points with what they got to deal with. There's the compensation, which is the money, of course, and other things. There's re rehabilitation. There. There's a uh, restitution. There's satisfaction, and there's the guarantee of non." Um, not uh, repetition. Don't do it again, <laughs> like that. Which is real. so. That's their program. This is this is out of England, and they they do this uh, uh, this uh, uh, march every year, uh, African Emancipation Day march. So they had a reparation component, I guess, in the, in the march this year, or last, whenever it was. I guess or, uh, happens August first. Um, so yeah, so it was this year. So next year it'll be another thing. Uh, it's interesting because uh, one of the things I really would like to see is some. Some sometime in Louisville, we have some sort of walk or march, like barnstorming back in the day. Just walk through the, the, the town or whatever, have you, and just and then whatever. I don't know. I don't figure it out. Suggest it. Anyway, so that's so that's big news, and and, and it, it'll give it, it'll give the Pan Africanists something to do, <laughs> something they can actively do. You know, because uh, uh, because this is interesting because they he said that their their restitution the Rastas have pushed this uh, had pushed this to some particular point but they had a march or something in 2014 and this came up and got revitalized about 2014 or something like that which is really interesting because this is what I really believe there's a spiritual component that that we haven't really dealt with or we can't we we shouldn't deal with actually but to say spiritually it's all over the world and these things are just popping up just popping up. And uh, the, if they get the, well, the, the European Union is on notice, we're going to put the United States of America on it. It's all through the political system, okay? And it's real now. So we, we we're dealing with the political system, right? Uh, we have uh, yeah, for for real the political system. Uh, we're organized, of course. We're getting organized, but it's a virtual organization organizing right now. But then you you have manifestations like marches and, and um, like we have our conference in October, those kind of things. 
uh, this whole thing about uh, just to study the commission so you got to study things and if it, he was saying and the thing uh, brother uh, Danani, he was saying uh, that um, a part of this thing is going to have you know the experts do do, do those kind of things so you have to worry about people say how much money how much money let the experts deal with that right so we so we deal with that but the spiritual component you know we can't deal with it, but it's but it's just happening that the component that I advocate in one of my other videos is that we really have to get this cultural component or this uh, you know where we where the comedians are telling jokes where the poets are poeting about it where where a little uh, little groups that are doing comedy on, on internet or whatever have you, they're dealing with it. We have little scripts. We well, we can even have, um, I mean, like I said, I don't know how black celebrities roll with it's in their mind, but rather than being out front about it, they could support other little groups like that. Or you, you can have you can have classroom competitions. Hey, yeah. And, uh, it, or classroom or after school competitions, you know, your, your, not your essay of reparations, but but something, something your poem or whatever it is, your, your, your expression of reparations. Right? Uh, you can even say expression of reparations, uh, money, expression of reparations, non money. I don't know. No, I'm, just make, I'm, make, I'm just making stuff up now. Uh, what was I saying? Okay, so so that's it. Um, just saying it's on a roll. It's on a roll. These other components are coming and coming and coming. That's it for me. T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect from ADES of the ADOS. That would be American versus like the Europeans or something like that. So, you know, but the American petitioning the American government, you know, deal with the American government, right? On the issue of North American descendants of chattel slavery.